Hello children, good evening. How are you doing this evening? How is school? How are your parents? Hope you are enjoying this new term that we just got into. Welcome to another Wednesday um, service with RCCG LSC, the Bridge Children's Department. Okay, so we have been taking a series on the Ten Commandments that God gave to us through His servant Moses. And we are going to take those commandments. And Auntie uh, first started with us and she told us the first commandment. And I'm sure we can all remember the first commandment that Auntie Ife taught us. So we are going to continue with commandment number two today. But before we go into today's um, service, I want us to pray. Let's close our eyes as we pray. In Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus, our Father and our God, we thank you. Thank you for keeping us. Thank you for bringing us to another Wednesday service. Be the exalted in Jesus' name. Father, Lord, we pray that as we're learning today, we pray that you teach us yourself in Jesus' name. And you make us obedient children so that we will always obey your commandments and will receive your blessings. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen, amen, amen. So last week, Wednesday, Auntie Fair taught us the first commandment, which is that we should have no other God except the one and only mighty God. Today we are talking about the second commandment, which is that we should not have any idol. How many of us know what an idol is? I know some of us have heard of idols, idol worshippers and all. So I'm sure we have heard what an idol is. So I'm just going to remind us about what an idol is. An idol can be anything, any image. You know, there are some people, they will take wood, they will take um, clay, and they make like a statue. And they begin to bow down and they start worshipping that statue. That and God has said, I don't want you to worship any idol. Don't take anything and convert that thing into a God. Don't worship anything that is made from your hand. And do you know that idols are not only things that you make by yourself and you turn into um, a God. Do you know that sometimes the things that you do are also idols. When you put anything before God, it's an idol. When anything is more important to you than your God, that thing has become an idol because that thing controls you. And we only want God to control the affairs of our hearts. If you take, for example, if you love to watch cartoon, every morning maybe you love to watch your Peppa Pig, your PJ Maxx, you can watch it. It's not bad to watch your cartoon because sometimes we even learn some things from those cartoons. But if on Sunday morning, when mommy says, go and dress up for church, and you are telling mommy that if you don't finish watching this cartoon, that you will not go to church, and you start crying and throwing tantrums, it is no good. That means that that cartoon has become an idol in your life. And God does not want that. Don't allow anything to control you. Don't allow any toy. Don't allow any cartoon. Don't even allow your friend. Don't put your friend before God. Don't put anything at all before your God. Because God is the most important person in our life. And he doesn't want us to worship any other God. So don't take anything. If your friend in school tells you that, oh, I'm not a Christian. I don't go to church. In my house, we have a shrine that we go to. You tell your friend that what they are doing is wrong. That the only person that is able to save us is God and we must not worship any other God because if we worship any other God the blessings of God will not come to our family and I'm sure that we all want the blessings of God to be upon us to be upon our parents so do not worship any idol do not worship so don't make anything more important than God in your life so I want you to sit down I want you to think now is there anything that is in your life is it your cartoon on um, Sunday morning you love watching cartoon on Sunday morning you love playing with your with your toys you love playing with your brother you don't want to go to church you, or you say if you don't find this toy if you don't find this clothes you're not going to church I want you to stop I want you to think of something else that okay on Sunday if I don't find this 
clothes, if I don't find this toy, if I don't find it, I will still go to church because I don't want anything, any worldly thing to become an idol, to become a god in my life. I don't want anybody to become a god. So you make your you make up your mind and you make decisions that okay this is what i'm going to do to stop making this thing an idol in my life so i want you to think now what is this thing that is an idol in my life i want you to take your jota and write it down if it's watching too much cartoon if it's going to play too much you write it down you tell god that god i don't want this thing to be an idol in my life I'm going to reduce the number of times that I watch cartoon. I'm going to make sure that every Sunday morning I don't watch cartoon. I watch cartoon only after service so that I can go and focus on my God. So I hope we all learned something today. I hope that we enjoyed today's service. I want you to think very well and don't worship any idol. Don't make anything an idol in your life. May God help us in Jesus' name. So let us pray. I want you to pray and I want you to ask for forgiveness of your sins. I want, if you know that on Sunday morning you are the one always making mommy and daddy late to church because you are always doing one thing or the other, you have put one thing before God. I want you to pray and tell God that, Father, please forgive me for make, having idols in my life. I don't want to have any idol in my life, anything that is distracting me from doing your work. Father, take it away from me in Jesus' name. Let us pray in Jesus' name, in the mighty name of Jesus. Our Father and our God, we thank you for today. We thank you for today's service. We thank you for teaching us yourself. Be thy exalted in Jesus' name. Father, Lord, we pray that you give us the grace to be able to keep your commandments in Jesus' name. And Father and our God, we pray that if there is anything in our life that is distracting us from doing your work, we pray that you separate us from such things in Jesus' name. If there is anybody in our life that is stopping us from doing your work, Father, we pray that you separate us from such people in Jesus' name. Father, Lord, we promise ourselves today that we will not worship any idol in, again in Jesus' name. We will never put anything before you in Jesus' name. And Father, Lord, we pray that as we continue to keep your commandments, we pray that you will continually bless us and provide for our parents in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Bye, children. See you on Sunday. Thank you for coming to today's service. And I hope you really had a wonderful time in God's presence. God bless you. We love you. Bye.